I'm Nathan Wagner, I'm 17, and what, what do you think on using the polio virus to fight cancer? Does, does this mean we could use other viruses to also fight cancer? My name is Eric Johansson, I'm an infectious disease doctor at the University of Wisconsin. Um, I'm also an assistant professor at the University of Wisconsin. There's been interest in using viruses to um, try to treat cancer for quite some time. Um, one of the reasons why viruses are an attractive tool to use is that um, cancer is essentially um, cells that have begun to grow uncontrollably and not um, behave like normal cells anymore. And because viruses, by their very nature, are manipulators of cells, uh, there's been thinking uh, in the field that it may be possible to um, re-engineer viruses in such a way as to either stop cancers from growing or um, kill cancer cells. This really began to gain traction in the 1990s when it became clear that some of the mutations in cancer um, that make them more aggressive um, were deletions or mutations in genes that are also important for defenses against viruses. And so the idea for um, designing uh, what are called oncolytic viruses or viruses that would lice or kill cancer cells is that you may be able to design them in such a way that um, viruses are specifically able to infect and kill cancer cells because of these gene deletions that reduce their production against um, growth signals as well as viruses uh, that these same viruses would not be able to kill normal cells and that's really the challenge of the field is trying to design oncolytic viruses that are able to um, be specific enough to only kill cancer cells without harming uh, the patient. At this point in time there is already one um, uh, virus that's been that has gone through sufficient clinical trials uh, to be approved by the FDA for treatment. Um, this is a derivative of uh, the virus that causes cold sores, herpes and it is uh, used to treat melanoma. The currently approved uh, virus for treating melanomas has been shown to uh, uh, prolong life by about four months. Um, and although that's very modest, it's uh, the sort of success that we hope to build on. And I think um, realistically that's what we're gonna see is that these viruses slowly become better. Um, and hopefully um, at some point uh, we may see um, actual cures of cancer, but. Um, I think that's quite a ways off and a lot of hard work is uh, uh, going to be required to achieve that goal.